far. Welcome to Rise of the Dead. It's a zombie game that has story more complex than your average Roblox game. But I mean, seriously, this uh, this game has outpaced Pig at this point in terms of story, bro. Like, seriously, the devs are working hard, bro. But I mean, my honest rating would be a 7.5 out of 10. Pretty good game. Uh, everything is good about it. About it. They do lack some features, though. You have to figure that out for yourself. And sometimes there are pretty annoying bugs and stuff like that. <clears throat> that ruin the game. So, yeah. Okay, so story. So, you wake up. Some rando gives you a gun and tells you to fight zombies while he abandons you and fixes his car. You pass out. You wake up in, in a bed and then... You talk to this rando, and his name is apparently Mason. Then you do missions for all the people, and I won't spoil it because I'm too lazy. So the map is very big, and it, to the point where they couldn't fit it in one game. So they, because uh, the potato PC players were, wouldn't be too happy about that, so they put it in separate games. And I think that that's pretty cool, and there there are even like uh, secret places you can get to get useless stuff. I mean, it's pretty hard to get there, but the fact that they give you kind of useless stuff is not pretty cool. Uh, yeah, that's really all I have about maps. I mean, I won't spoil the locations and all of that, but there are these, uh, you know, you'll learn about it, so yeah. If you want to learn info about weapons, go to the wiki. I'm too lazy. And weapons drop for my... You can get weapons from bosses, killing zombies for a while, but, but that won't work anymore. Or you can just straight up buy them if you're that determined. Uh, that determined. So, raids, pretty brain dead. You just complete the objective, or and that means kill the zombies, or... I don't know, whatever it tells you to do. And after that, you just take your big crate home, or big crate to the safe house, and open the crap that's inside of it. There's probably useless crap in it. Unless you're doing Genesis, because that one, you have to defeat a boss, quote-unquote. I mean, yeah, Robert is a boss, I guess. I don't know. If you, you just judge it however you want. But yeah, good luck defeating Robert on your own. Unless you have, like, overpowered weapons and stuff, then, yeah, pretty good, pretty good, man. Keep the work. So, bosses, they're not much to explain when you kill them. They drop something, and the more rare stuff you get, the more you can sell it for if you don't need it. And, uh, some bosses have a hard mode, that rare stuff become, become more common, and maybe new... New stuff will be added if you choose hard mode, but with the drawback of, well, hard mode, so yeah. In conclusion, you should play this game, and uh, yeah, that's really it. <laughs> Not much else. I mean, there, there are some bugs which are kind of annoying, but yeah, that's really it. So, like and subscribe, or else Robert will come to your house and send us warm-up zombies to you.